da, 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 I don't know, I just wanted to do a cold opening. Mama didn't raise a quitter, but she did raise an insecure perfectionist who never finishes anything. This feels personal. Also, double points that they screen cap this before the profile pictures could render? Good stuff. Are you more of a family or career oriented person? Baby girl, I'm a bed oriented person. <laughs> Technically, we're all Always lopping. Because the self is only a construct. Yeah, well, I want a new character. Then make one. Then make one has the same energy as then perish, but like, opposite. Same and opposite. One time in third grade, I zoned out, and I don't think I ever zoned back in. Oh, there they go. Two things. I hate change and having my routines interrupted. And I hate things being the same. It's boring. Oh, oh, sweet baby, baby child. <laughs> Fucking mood. I love going the speed limit. The people behind me sure don't, though. I'm going 45 and a 45, and the guy behind me is like, I hope she never sees the gates of heaven. Why would anyone pick a human race in a fantasy game? I want a fantasy game where human isn't even an option. Nah, 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 man. Humans are the coolest. It's one thing to fight demons if you're from a species that lives for hundreds of years. It's tied to natural magic and burst the best archers on the planet. It's another thing entirely to do the same when your species is known to be slightly above average at farming. My name's Regular Jeff, and I'm gonna behead Tiamat and die trying. I like how it was and not or. Today I learned you can pay to have your posts reach more people? Who would do that? Seriously though, Tumblr, how's it working out for you? I can tell you exactly how that's working out right now. I had someone tag me in a post that was trying to get my attention on how to use Tumblr and to get the attention more, they bought the promotion. So, I mean, clearly it worked, but that's, that's how that's going. Every character I ever write will inevitably be neurodivergent coded because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how the fuck neurotypical people function. I'm under the firm belief they don't actually exist. I think it's just a myth. Andy, have you ever seen one? They don't exist! What's the difference between outlaws and in-laws? Well, <laughs> outlaws are wanted. Hey, come on, reblog this. My grandma told me this joke and was convinced she was going to be famous on Tumblr for it. Every time my mom and grandma get into an argument, my grandma says, Excuse me, Pamela, I'm famous on the Tumblr. I really hope Jumping Javert sees this and shows this to their grandma. Gaslighting someone by saying they're too smart to be gaslit, so you're not gaslighting them. This would work on me. No, it wouldn't. You're too smart. Posts like this are like modern-day fables. Yeah, I'll reblog this funny little exchange. But the next time someone says this to me, I'll remember this post and hear Kill Bill sirens. Being on Tumblr desktop version is so fucking funny. Like, girl, I'm blogging. Using mobile. <laughs> Phone friends. Using desktop. Demutuals. Per my last post. Writing tip. Bring your cat with you when you sit down to write, because once they get comfortable, there is no going back. On the subject of that, actually, cats come in several breeds. Asshole, Fluff McFuck, Spooky Ghost Hours, Orange, I'm just a little boy, I'm just a little baby guy, I'm only a small creature. Skrillex Remix Musician, Wielder of the Chaos Emeralds, Blaze? Unperceived, Let's Go Girls, Unimaginable Violence, I really hope that's how the song went. And Professional Rumble Machine, most of them are mixed breeds though. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got a fluffy McFuck asshole with a side of spooky. Tumblr sexy men will always fascinate me because, okay, sure, Jack Skellington is cool and once has his qualities, I guess, but then there's like, fucking Wheatley? Really, guys? This does something for you? Behold, your state borders, but they're based off rivers and mountains. <laughs> Get Europe. Yeah, I think we should do this, but leave Colorado alone so there's just an extremely jarring rectangle in one part of this. You know what? I like the way you think. Behold. Enough. To the box with you. 
Well, I guess we gotta go. Andy, let's go over the box. We... Oh, no, writing prompt. Multi-dimensional travel already exists, but no one visits our dimension because it's that one. This isn't a prompt, it's just a fact. And does anyone else with intrusive thoughts do that weird dismissive head shake when they get them to kind of like reverse reject the thought, or is that just me? Gotta shake your brain like an Etch-a-Sketch and start over. <laughs> ah, clear. Oh, to be a small mouse in a pastoral children's novel who lives in a hollowed out tree stump and does nothing but collect dewdrops and sweep the doorstep with a feather. And carve one strawberry into slices like it's a ham. You! You get it. You think that's a denim jacket? <laughs> Surely you just! That punchline hit me like a sack of wet mice. It, it hit you like what? No offense to the people of Texas, but if there's a big red button that says destroy Texas on it, I might. I may. I would. It took my new cat a while to realize that kissing the top of her head was a gesture of affection, but I think she's finally got it. The downside is that now she thinks the best way to signal that she wants cuddles is to come charging at me and mash the top of her head against my face. It's like a very affectionate punch in the mouth. And yet here you are, talking about it like it's a problem. I love Tumblr because sometimes I get an urge to read blog posts about something nobody likes and everyone just politely ignores me. Everyone's like, oh, he's fallen into madness again. He'll be fine later, I guess. World builders naming towns. I named this town Illigwemeth, which means where the dearly beloved king died next to his lover. And the language I invented, and also a combination of the old English word for diamonds and the Maori word for apples, since that's their main export. People in real life naming towns. I named this town Big Falls because Big Fall there. <sighs> yep. Behold, the work in progress in my head and what physically exists. I feel seen. In my dad's valiant effort to not misgender people, his brain has somehow short-circuited, and he's they-theming everyone. My mom, they-them now. His coworkers, all they-them. No one can escape. A-T-A-D. Assigned they at dad. Writing prompt. A barbarian warlord, a goblin king, a mighty necromancer, and a dark elven high priestess to meet for one reason. To play suburbs and SUVs, the hottest mundane suburban family tabletop RPG. Can I roll to have a meltdown in the middle of the PTA bake sale? Why? To make Karen look like a bitch. Metabots say you where everything is exactly the same, except MetaB is allowed to say fuck. I want this. And I also want standards and practices to not know about it. So when the episode airs that day, the guy in the corner is just like, Oh fuck, what have we done? I explained what a himbo was to my dad yesterday. My dad nodding. Hmm, the man from the Ghostbusters reboot. We watched this film exactly once. Four years ago. And all my dad retained was that Kevin was a himbo. Respect. Hey, listen. Take it from me. You name your character Kevin, they're gonna end up as a himbo. Exhibit A. Look at him. Perfection. All right, I'm gonna try to not do this one like Gianni did it. Cause, yeah. R slash Vexology, the flag of Japan, but it's actually this hand towel with a perfectly placed water stain. <laughs> oh shit, I just peed on my towel accidentally. Better turn this into clout. It was a water stain. I had an ice pack and it leaked onto the towel. I didn't fucking pee on it. Oh, you peed on it. You peed on it, didn't you, you little piss boy? Brown rice is good for the heart. White rice is good for the soul. And fried rice is for enhancing telepathic attacks. I have to go into battle soon. Andy, get the shrimp. You know, they should have invented that digestive system that works. Yeah. The Stanley Parable. The Stanley Terrible. The Stanley Squareable. The Stanley Unbearable. The Stanley Like and Shareable. The Stanley Like, Comet, and Subscribable. No, that one doesn't work. That's stupid. Oh boy, I was really looking forward to crossing the River of the Dead, but it looks like a ferry doesn't come for another 20 minutes. Do you guys mind sending me a reminder? Randy, it's been 20 minutes! Time to cross the river! <laughs> Randy, you're still! 
Seriously, there needs to be like a 70s fashion revival. We need men with hairy chests and low-cut collared shirts and stupid shoulder pads and fun colors. I can't take it anymore. Men's fashion needs to get fun again. Is anyone listening? <laughs> Crying because of Korok-related reasons. Look me in the eye and tell me you wouldn't die for these beautiful creatures. <clears throat> I wouldn't. They handed me their poop as a prize. And the prize I got for handing in all the poop was an even bigger piece of poop. I will let them burn. Tumblr is the Amelia Bedelia ass website. No matter how precisely you try to phrase something, there's at least one person out there who will find a way to misinterpret you in a way that no reasonable person ever would in order to confirm some existing biases. If I asked any given discourse blogger on this website to dust the furniture, they would say, okay, and start putting more dust on the furniture. It's exactly how I feel. So, how old were you when you realized Meowth of Team Rocket trying to steal Pikachu was just rehashing the age-old tale of a cat trying to catch a mouse? Types of responses to this post. Immediately right now, this moment years old, I have literally always known this. And my personal favorite, Pikachu's a mouse? I wish that book reviews were presented the same way as fan fiction reviews. The New York Times says, <laughs> The Wall Street Journal says, Oh my god, I can't even! Why would you do that to them? NPR says, You asshole, I'm crying now. And Sarah Destin says, Ah, oh, that was so cute, thank you! I'll publish that book I said I'd write for you like next week. I'm a little busy right now, but I love this! Shakespeare says, I just have to say, I love you, BRB, going to read all your works. And don't forget George R. R. Martin. I hate you. Please update soon. I wear so much lip gloss, and it's amazingly sexy of me. My lips are so glossy and sticky. It's like being kissed by two heated, aggressive slugs. In a sexy way, though. Sexy lip slugs. I mean, it's really good. Maybe I'm not describing it well as all, but it, it's, it's excellent. Like... Sexy lip slugs, and some biting a little bit, you know, like, like tongue like a warm, frightened eel. But, but not, 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 in a, not in a weird gross way, just like, oh, two crafts in lubricated rubber gloves are attacking my face, and this is pretty great. Yeah, I, th I think, I think, I think, I think we got it. What if writers did streams like artists did? Eight hour stream of a blank word document. Still get tipped. Hell yeah. A mutuals friendly reminder that our little drowning is outside with my arm. You come around with me, and you're not lovable. Oh boy, I'm coming down with you. Pog, I love to be invited to things. I can't continue the bit. I've decided I wanted to be loved now. Hi, could I ask how exactly does one accidentally set a lemon on fire? Microwave for 40 minutes. What? Why are you microwaving a lemon? I read boiling lemons helps cover up bad smells. I wanted to cover up the scent of burnt oranges, but I didn't own any pots. D did you burn an orange too? How? Microwave for 40 minutes. At straight people. <clears throat> Honestly, what the fuck? Once again, the SJWs attack. Logic be my horse. Reason my blade. Fedora, my armor. Heterotron, activate. Uh, um, what? You heard the man, Heterotron activate. Wielding the prism of colors as the emissary of light. With art as my focus and emotion as my guide, I become Aquarion, and I say unto you, Heterotron, your powers have no place in our domain. Gotta hate it when you chip a nail. Uh... So it turns out, great tits can and do kill and eat both other birds and small mice when food is scarce particularly during winter. And I just can't get over this picture. It looks like the kind of photos hunters take with their kills. I, I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> I think he needs to come in. <laughs> he needs to come in. <laughs> come, come in. <laughs> Everyone move over. I found the best AI generated results. Baby jackalope. Oh my God. Look at it. Nine times. <clears throat> it's PMC Morbin time. You. That's it. 
You made me do this! Let's see more time! Okay, let's do this. My favorite genre of writing is adding in jokes that only you understand. My favorite genre of writing is adding in jokes that you won't even understand in the future. Schmeckle. You'll understand later. Writing is the worst. You want to write a single passing line of dialogue, so you fact check it to make sure it's historically accurate. Then suddenly you've lost track of time, space, yourself. <laughs> For instance, I wanted to know how frequently fighter planes were used in WW1, and now I'm several pages deep into the history of witchcraft in Ireland. Th this is it. This is what writing's like. A relatable autism feel. Trademark. Which piece of my meal do I eat last? Which flavor will be the chosen one that'll erase all others and prevail? Oh my god, I thought I was the only one. Bro, same. Contractions function almost identically to the full two-word phrase, but are only appropriate in some places in a sentence. It's one of the weird quirks of this language we've... <sighs> this post needs some kind of warning sign! Well, that's the kind of linguist I'm... So... Jailator on adoption form. Good luck trying to return me without the receipts. Hello, Seymour. Longest time you've been making videos with your editor, Andy, and have become great friends. In front of you is a small button that will set off a small explosive full of confetti and glitter that will go off over Andy's computer, causing him no harm but getting confetti and glitter all over his room and inconveniencing him greatly. You can't leave until you press the button. Good luck. <laughs> Andy, I'm sorry. I have to push the button. Import, Im import reminder, import reminder of the fictional trope where an all-night diner is frequented by all kinds of weird monsters and the staff just kind of roll with it. I think this is a very good trope and anyone who has been in a diner 100% understands. Yeah, I know for a fact Waffle House would rather deal with vampires or werewolves instead of drunk frat boys at 3 a.m. Do I have a show for you guys? Not mine, Kid Cosmic on Netflix, go watch it. Bear in mind? Well, there is now! ADHD emotions, collect them all. Shaky, shaky leg. I forgot how amazing this thing is, never mind, it sucks. I heard too much noise, so now I'm a bitch. Gremlin! Brain is just a wee theme song. Boop, boop, doop, boop, boop, doop, boop, 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 boop. Why does this one word keep popping up in my brain? Yeah, that's. that's it. Tried Wendy's for the first time today. Treated like burger. I mean, tasted! They did not put me on the grill! Ah, my first day on Tumblr. I'm going to hell for this, aren't I? Yep. Nobody better slam my girl Hubble telescope after the web telescope pics came out, all right? For years, she was the baddest bitch around and we owe her nothing but gratitude. My whole fucking dash is this post. Well, have you thanked her yet? Girl, you're a glowing girl. You are radioactive. Girl, it's fatal. When your bestie works in the wristwatch factory. Wait, hold on. I gotta look something up. What the fuck? Going back to that ADHD post. I heard too many sounds at once, so now I am a bitch. We're all one sensory overload away from becoming the strongest version of ourselves. Supervillain origin story. Two conversations happened near me at the same time. Why is this so true? Mm, I don't got cake. I got cupcakes. My dumb truck is made by Tonka. Please help, my ass is very small. Hey, PM, what form of activities do you enjoy? I you know, manifesting cute creatures on a pixelated canvas, listening to well-placed frequencies, the comic sounds, interacting with other brains, piloting skeletons inside a storefront that sells energizing brown water made of beans. You know, the usual. Translation, drawing waifus and husbandos on a computer, listening to music that calms them, and going to Starbucks. Ah, you. You got me. If hands were slab of meat, they'd be more useful. I forgot I made this post and left it without context for 12 hours. So, are you gonna get some context? You know what, it's really late. I'm going to bed. I put on the maid outfit and make your house messier. I'm like one of them TikTok videos. 
Yeah, sex is okay and all, but have you ever wanted to know what it's like to have a raccoon in your lap on a cool summer evening sharing a 20-piece McNugget with a little guy? Now I do. Girl, help, I'm in a cave and it's slowly filling with water. Girl, help, I can feel the surface of the water laughing at me. Wait, I think I can see Obama. Maybe he can help me. But Talos, this can't be happening. I hate how many layers of meme culture you need to understand to make this decipherable. Yeah. Click here for dark and mysterious horses beyond our control. Yes, 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 yes. There's no way this could go badly. Andy, click it. No. Doctor said I only have to do four hours of therapy a week instead of seven. I am the pina colada of mental health. I meant to say pinnacle, not pina colada. The telephone is a cruel mistress, and I am so healthy still. Oh, the horrors. Oh, the horrors. They haunt me. Uh oh, hold on. Sorry, I gotta take this. Yeah? Uh huh. Okay. Sorry, my mom said we can't witness the horrors together anymore because you're bad influence, and I have to go do my calculus homework. Bye! Putting up hell as fake billboards in Ohio to start a dialogue. Well, I'm putting up Ohio as hell billboards in Ohio to continue the dialogue. And I'm putting up therefore Ohio as fake billboards in Ohio to conclude the dialogue. Wow. Every time I see an animal, I have a strange urge to go outside and try to befriend it. So far, it only worked once. <laughs> Be my friend, don't you run away, I just want to pet you. I walk into Starbucks and order a pumpkin spice latte with 13 shots of espresso. I tell the barista that I intend to transcend humanity and become a god. And I ask for no whipped cream. You say this jokingly, but I had a customer actually order a pumpkin spice latte with nine shots of espresso, also no whipped cream. And when I asked her to verify that she did indeed want nine shots of espresso, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, I have five kids. I once had a woman come in and ordered an Americano with 19 shots of espresso. The drink took ages. It held up the line. I asked her why, and she shrugged and said, I just don't care. We still talk about that woman. We never saw her again. Guys, she transcended time and space, obviously. Gentle reminder that Cleopatra's beauty is rumored to have started wars in ancient history. And a gentle reminder that people are evolving to be more and more attractive. And another gentle reminder that your beauty probably would have started at least two wars by now if you lived in 30 BC. What a gently delivered compliment. Thank you. Well, time to build the time machine. I love when mages to Skyrim are like, You cannot even conceive the power I wield! Like, yeah, bro, that novice Frostbite spell making me kind of fresh, gonna put my mittens on. I am a master of the arcane. Okay, then why does it say novice necromancer on your health bar then? Okay, but to be fair, if I learned at least one conjuration spell, I probably would also start talking like that. When your family asks if they can read what you're writing. Not unless everyone gets real cool about a bunch of stuff really quickly. Yeah. Oh, my beautiful infant son. Untitled document. I love you. Is there any humiliation greater than going out to the mailbox? And there's nothing inside. So you've got to make the hero's journey back with no spoils. The worst fact about me is that when I get stressed or overwhelmed, I start to rap Eminem to myself under my breath. It's like a stim thing. I'll be at my job as a waitress on a super busy day, filling up a glass of water, near tears from stress, my hands trembling, whispering to myself, I'm Slim Shady, it's not the real Shady. All you other Slim Shady are just a bad Shady. So walk the room, Slim Shady, please stand up. Please stand up. Ah, Stim Shady. My good sir, I delightfully sip from the chalice you have so given me. What is Red Bull? Oh, that dragon's fucked. Is it just me, or do you want to see more of the little animation in your head whenever you listen to music? Yes! Popping my back isn't enough. I need to be picked up and slammed against the wall like a wet trout. Andy, throw me. What we see, and what humans see. OP, who's we? Who the fuck is we? OP! 3,500 years ago, a bunch of people decided to build a tower to the sky, and now I have to worry about keeping up my Duolingo streak. Hey, why would you blame the people reaching for heaven instead of the god who cursed them? Add that one to the list, boys. Anyway, I think it's a very important takeaway that the Tower of Babel story is that even God fears a strong union. You're right, and you should say it. Hey, why do you charge money for your art? Well, big fan of eating.
Shh, puts a blanket over your head. Oh shit, nap time. Night everybody. <laughs>